Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. I'm so happy to have all of you Aquarians here with me today. We are gonna do a fun little uh, tarot spread for you all on the subject of love today. Um, as with all my messages here on YouTube, they are general. That means not everything I say is going to resonate with all the Aquarians out there. So please only take away messages for your best and highest good. You will know intuitively what those are. Um, you never need to force anything I say um, to fit your circumstance or scenario. If it's not hit, uh, ringing a bell or hitting home in any way, you can push it aside. Um, I encourage you to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs if you would like additional messages or more clarity. Um, and as always, if, if, my, if I'm not picking up on your energy, if the, the reading isn't really uh, fitting your circumstance or scenario, check out some of the other thousands of fabulous readers on YouTube. Um, there's a lot of us out there, so I'm sure there's someone who can, who can read for you if, if this doesn't resonate. That being said, I hope lots of this resonates. I hope lots of it hits the mark. Um, what else do you need to know about this? Everything you're going to want to know will be in the comment box below, including the decks I'm using, uh, the social media channels, um, how to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, etc. So we are going to hop in for the Aquarius group in love. This is non-date specific, so whenever you view this message is when you were meant to view it, okay? Other than that, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Welcome back to the newbies and subscribers. Um, or I'm sorry, welcome back to the subscribers. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, and then I was going to say welcome to the newbies. I'm happy you, you came across this channel. So we'll take one more for Aquarius here. All right, let's do it. So Aquarius, in love, in your past, you have the flirt card. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. That's a great way to start the reading. Some nice, light, happy energy there. With the Ace of Pentacles. So immediately I, I'm sensing that this is probably a, a new endeavor in love for most of the Aquarians out there. Um, at least who this, this uh, message is gonna resonate for. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles talks about, the, it's essentially a seed, right? A seed that, gr a seed that grows into a tree. Um, now we are, that is a metaphor for love, right? So the beginning of a relationship, a new potential um, partner on the romance front, it could potentially be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it does not have to be. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the flirt card, lighthearted, happy, you know, flirting, flirting after work, flirting, I don't know, in the office or wherever you're at. Um, it's also being clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, so more earth signs, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is specifically a Virgo card. And with the Knight of Capricorn, well, with all Knights in Tarot, we know Knights bring movement in and out of our lives, right? There's, there's motion involved, there's forward movement, there's progression. Um, now, they are the slowest Knights in the deck, right? Because they are that earth-based energy, everything is is very tangible. Uh, it's it's uh, The Knight of Pentacles is very steady, though, and reliable. I always say he's a good one to have on your team, right? If you're trying to get to a goal, if you're you know, working on a project and you have Knight of Pentacles, Virgo potentially on, on your team, whatever that is, uh, they will get the job done. They are not, um, they're not huge on the risk-taking front, um, but they, they have like a step-by-step -step plan of how they're going to accomplish their goal. So if we're relating this to love, if, if you are um, being pursued by a Virgo who, who might be interested in you, um, the way he's got this pentacle, this is an elephant, right, kind of wrapped in his tusk, it's a, he's being very gentle and cautious with this the seed potentially between you guys, um, he or she, it doesn't, I, knights are typically depicted as male, but gender is non-specific in these reads, but he or she is being very gentle and cautious as they proceed forward with you. Um, but it's actually really cute. I, I take this as that, um, <clears throat> I, I'm almost getting, they feel like this is their one chance with you and they don't wanna blow at Aquarius. It's actually really adorable. Um, so this is in the past. So again, it doesn't have to be an earth sign, but there is a lot of strong earth energy here. So you may have a strong earth in your chart. Um, if you, again, if you are being pursued, if you're not so much doing the pursuing Aquarius, I do feel like <clears throat> it, it potentially could be an earth sign. Um, I just want to say like coming in into your space, into your area, but they are approaching very slowly, as we said, like very cautiously because they don't want to blow it with you. Um, they might even be a little bit intimidated by your personality. And so, yeah, they're, they're approaching with caution because it, it, it means so much to them. The soggy handle with care. That's what this, this little elephant, this knight is doing. I love that song. I love that song. Handle me with care. <clears throat> Temperance. Okay. Yeah. So the blending of opposites, potentially, this could be someone um, that you, 
maybe wouldn't normally gravitate towards two, but you may actually have a lot in common. Um, or the opposite, you may not have a lot in common, but because of that, it's like opposites attract. I say that because temperance uh, depicts the love angel, right? You got the love angel in your love spread, Michael, who blends his cups, and it's, it's the mixing of fire and water. It's blending, but it's also balance. It's blending the heart and the head. Um, it's maintaining an inner peace. Um, almost keeping your cool in a sense. If you're, I just want to say your knight here is sort of a little bit anxious to approach you. It's like they're coming in slow and this this balancing back and forth, it's almost like them, them. I want to say like hyping themselves up, but getting their head in the game of like, you know, this is how I'm going to do it, but don't be too forceful. It's, it's really cute. Your person seems very timid. They could be a Sagittarius. This is the card of Sagittarius, fire sign. Um, now, temperance can also sometimes be the card of healing, too. Um, yeah, it comes right after death, which is a card of major transformation, right? Um, we, we have to release what isn't serving us to essentially, it's sort of a rebirth into this new world, into a new cycle, into a new chapter, right? So you or this person may sort of be in... I want to say recovery mode. It doesn't feel overly heavy to me, but maybe one or one or both of you is getting out of an old relationship, and so uh, rightfully so, that you potentially both or one of you is taking time to really like uh, uh, recuperate, do do like the self healing before you approach another. These cups, as we know, talk about love emotions, right? And these cups are going back and forth, but they belong to this individual, right? So it's like making sure that your cup is okay before you share it with someone else. Um, very cute, very cute. Aquarius, I'm so happy you have some, some nice cards. I'm not gonna lie, I think I've done nine readings so far, and every single one of them have, have been incredibly challenging energies. So, yeah, let's, let's see how this pans out for, for all the aqua babes out there. <clears throat> Healthcare change. These, but these are butterfly oracles that I've been throwing down just because I don't get to use them a lot and they're really they're really beautiful cards um, That being said the messages on them are extremely specific So if this hits home for you, that's fantastic if it doesn't you know, you don't have to take it on as your energy um, Healthcare change though. I I sense that that has has to do with this Changing the way you take care of yourself if you are sort of in in the recuperation or healing mode potentially from a breakup or just Getting over a partner that didn't work out, it doesn't mean you have to be heartbroken about it. But again, that self-care, that's immediately what, what sticks out to me here. Something about stoking your own fire, making sure that you're good, that your cup is full. Enjoying life and doing things that make you happy. Um, I actually am sensing, Aquarius, that this is more so you. And that the, the way these cards fall, bear with me here. This is your knight coming in potentially to offer you this pentacle, and this represents the the blending of opposites or the blending of potentially your two cups if there's going to be, you know, some sort of relationship involved. Even if it just starts off as friendship, right? You don't, I don't think you're focused on this knight. The way this butterfly is, is tilted that way, and I said stoking the fire, like warming themselves in the sun. I think this knight is seeing you and approaching very slowly, but I mean, look at you, Aquarius. You're sticking out just like a bright sunbeam, right? Um, so yeah, I don't know if you even know who this person is, potentially. Um, yeah. Or if you do, and the flirting was, was like mutual, I almost think that, <clears throat> I don't mean this in an insensitive way, but it's like, it meant nothing to you, like, it was just like, oh yeah, whatever, like, I, like you hardly even remember that girl or that guy, but it meant, it meant more to them or something, and, and I mean, I'm not sensing that you maybe weren't into it, but like, again, it was a fleeting moment in your life. And again, you're stoking your own fire. You're focused on whatever this is for you, right? This task, this project, this whatever. And yeah, this night is kind of approaching with caution. That's cute. So that's your past, potentially. Uh, in the present, you have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Oh, that's so cute. It's sweet and innocent. It's children. It's new. It's young. We know that because we got the Ace of Pentacles. It's the very seed that could blossom into something really beautiful. Um, now, it's saying make the effort. So, I, it, instantly, this kind of speaks to that whole apprehension that your knight was facing of they want to approach you, but they don't want to blow it. I don't know why that's coming through so strong, but... You, I guess you're intimidating, Aquarius. Damn, you got someone all, all hot and bothered. But 
Um, so that's being clarified by the Two of Swords. Um, now, I love that this card is actually called the Peace card, because a lot of times with the Two of Swords, it's obviously air energy, as you guys know, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It is a Libra card, and it speaks about balancing of the mind, how someone's holding their two swords up. They're heavy, right? Eventually, you're going to have to drop one and choose to invest your time or your energy in one thought, in one idea. Um, and the blindfold speaks to making this decision intuitively from within, not from looking around your surroundings, right? Um, sometimes this can be a card of difficult decision, but here it's called peace. I really like that. Um, and she's actually not wearing a blindfold in, in this deck. I don't know if you can see that. She's got a little head turban thing on, um, but it looks very peaceful, right? It looks very meditative. Like, um, she's doing some sort of like spiritual work just on a dock with all that water behind her, with the water being emotions, but intuition, right? Being really centered within herself before she's going out to, to pursue something new. And I like that this card falls directly right under that Ace of Pentacles. Um, so whoever this person is representing, it, it seems like they potentially are in a good headspace to invest in something new. I like that. This, I feel like, is you, Aquarius. Um, and I almost see this as you don't even see this decision coming. Uh, how I was saying, you you may know this person in like the external, maybe it's someone you work with or somebody you see at the grocery store every now and then. It's something like that. Um, but again, I think they're coming in to approach you. You don't even think of them as a romantic prospect. Uh, Page of Wands. Uh, so more fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And again, younger. Um, <clears throat> I just see you as like you're knocking their confidence. Maybe they tried to approach you as this knight with the pentacle. And and again, it's like these small interactions that you just might be tossing away as whatever. It's just my everyday life. Now this person's coming in as the page of wands. And it's almost like they're taking this slow, tangible pentacle, this little token they want to offer you of like, it could be asking you out on a date or, or even just giving you a compliment. And you've bumped them down to like page status. So something has kind of... Um, made them not want to approach, and yet they still have this fire, this passion that's calling out to them, this one speak of inspiration, of passion, um, sometimes of, of creativity or even travel, right? Um, it could be someone you work with, that, that's what could, this could be indicating, but also a fire sign, especially those, those who are dealing with a Sagittarius, potentially. Um, yeah, this is your person, and this is you, Aquarius. They're watching you, though. And there's also something a little bit sad, too. Sometimes I see this, this owl has these beautiful, like, markings below its eye. But the longer I look at it, sometimes it looks like tears. Like, this person has been through a great deal, and while they hide it, they're this, you know, the wise old owl, right? It's like when you look a little closer, they're only a page. They, they do have almost like this childlike heart that's, that may be very sensitive. Um, so they, they, they wear, I don't want to say a disguise, because it's not to be deceitful, but... They hide a great depth of emotion under this, uh, these beautiful markings, this, you know, this hat, this coat, this whatever, whatever your person wears. Um, it's very cute, but yeah, I think they're the one who, who's wanting to make the effort, but again, they're trying to like hype themselves up to do so, because they see you just in your own little world, Aquarius, like, and content as well, right? Like, you're there doing this, you know, meditative thing on the dock, and like, you don't, you don't necessarily feel like you need anyone right now. Um, for, for some of you, right? That not, might not resonate with everyone, but this person wants to take you out. What else can we get? What else do we need to know about the situation in love for Aquarius? This one wants to throw up. Oh, damn. All right. So... The 1111, the Four of Wands, the Soulmate card, right? It did come up in advance, or I'm sorry, in advance. I don't know why I just said that. Uh, reversed. Um, very interesting. I think this person sees you as having great potential to be, I don't know if it's your soulmate. That's jumping into things a little bit fast. Um, they might be having dreams or the fantasies of how how great it would make them feel to take you out. The colors in this card, it's like this is so bright, cheery, yellow sunshine versus kind of like this pale, like the color palette is just more washed away. Um, so yeah, it's it's like the reality versus the fantasy maybe of what this person is thinking, but 
even if we take away the element of the soulmate card, right? Uh, the Four of Wands talks about a stable foundation. Um, it's, it's upward growth, right? Wands speak about growth, and uh, we think of like the four corners of a house, or here it's always depicted as a celebration, like a wedding, a, a whatever, a graduation, some sort of like gathering of, of people, and there's, there's stability there. You have people in your life that are reliable. It's a stable, it's a stable foundation, be it people or, you know, an actual job or structure or whatever. You know what this could be? As I was saying, if someone is coming out of a difficult relationship and they're doing the self-healing work, the, your page of wands, or knight of pentacles, I think it's the same person, um, may have be, be coming from a relationship that didn't offer them the stability that they needed, and it could have been someone they had been with for a decent amount of time and they thought this was their person, their soulmate, right? And it didn't end up being that way because their back is now turned to this and now they're looking at you, Aquarius. And I think, again, you know, you and your yogi meditative state, they see you as being very stable, uh, not just exterior, but interior. Um, yeah, like you, you would offer good partnership and stability in their life. <clears throat> oh, all right. Emotions. That's a pretty card. All right. Instantly, I think of water signs, but it doesn't have to be. Um, something about sitting on your emotions, not wearing your emotions on your sleeve. There's a lot of them, right? There's that pool behind you. <clears throat> but interestingly enough, you disguise it well too, Aquarius. And the whole in, uh, intimidation factor of your person not being able to come in, it's because you have, metaphorically, you have these swords up across you. They may see you as being a little bit defensive, and that might be why they are holding back and approaching you. Um, you, and I don't mean this in a harsh way, so please don't, don't take it that way. They may see you as a little bit colder um, and that you don't wear your emotions on your sleeve. And we know certainly that's not true, that you're not a cold person, Aquarius, but maybe, maybe compared to what this person is coming from in their past, they had someone who was, maybe they were with a water sign previously and that person was like um, overflowing with emotions. But it, I'm just getting that it was messy. It wasn't like this beautiful, harmonious, your cup and mine. It was, it may have been, uh, if not a toxic relationship, a codependent one. Again, the soulmate, like the two, the twin flame. It could have been, yeah, some sort of codependent relationship. And so maybe this person is, cautiously approaching you because they don't want to tip the scales with you, right? We have a Libra card here. They, I think they want to be uh, upfront about the way they are feeling, but they don't want to scare you off. There's something very um, fleeting about this opportunity to them. That's why they're coming in so slowly and again, grounded, like earth, earthy energy, because they don't want to blow it. They know that this is like their chance. And so I think in advance, they're thinking of all different aspects of of how this could go. Um, and I, I don't mean for that to sound like creepy and stalkerish. This person actually has very good energy about them. I, I'm not worried about that. It's just that they like you so much that they don't they don't want to say or do the wrong thing. They don't want to misstep. Because they, they're coming in with a lot of emotion. Um, and I, yeah, how I was saying it, these almost look like tears. Maybe over the years, this person has kind of been through the ringer in, in the game of love. And so... Um, maybe this person doesn't know how to come in without wearing emotions on their sleeves and so they're trying they're trying to temper that that could be what this is this seems to be uh, very much about your person Aquarius um, keep an open mind here's your card your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation yeah we were saying that earlier but the blending of opposites um, and the thing is the opposites attract sometimes right so it's not that this person would be off-putting to you um and if that was the case this isn't the person that we're talking about here um but this like spirit is saying keep an open mind about accepting just even new friendships in your life at this point um because yeah there may be people approaching you and again you see them as just that other guy at, at i don't know the library or wherever you're do people even go to the library anymore <laughs> anyway that other person somewhere in, in your social network of where you where you go on the day-to-day and your, your mind hasn't even put them in that light of, oh, do, like, were they flirting with me? Do they like me? They do. It's right here. <laughs> so, being clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. 
It says gain. I love that this card is called the gain card, right? Sometimes it's the single ladies card, the single gents card, right? It's uh, Venus and Virgo. So again, another Virgo card. Um, someone who is very lush and abundant. Um, they're, they're a self-made man, a self-made woman. Um, and this is falling under your energy too. Um, so this could very well be that you're um, sitting on a bunch of stability, especially if it does have to do with finances. Like um, for some of you, you're doing okay. You know, you're, you're not struggling to get by per se. Um, But I do think a lot of you, I mean, you're watching a tarot video, right? So I do think a lot of you are open to the idea of accepting new love into your life. But I, I will just, you know, throw that caution in there that make sure you're coming off as approachable if you are looking at that. It's like something about stop and smell the roses, stop and smell the flowers of, of those new people coming in. Somebody might literally be sending you flowers or something like that. Keep an open mind. Um, in, a, in a lower vibration with this card, I always say that she doesn't, he or she, whatever, doesn't take a lot of risks. They're self-made and they're abundant and they have this beautiful life, but it's all within the safety of their backyard. They, they very frequently like hop the fence and, and go into this new land. Something about like Aladdin just came to mind, the idea of how Jasmine has to go outside the palace, right, to, to actually be with the real people and, and essentially meet, meet the man of her dreams, right? She meets Aladdin in the marketplace. I don't know why I'm referencing Aladdin, it just came through. <laughs> um, but even so, keep an open mind. This person may have um, a different background than you. Maybe they have a very different financial situation than you. Again, maybe the the emotional factor, maybe they are very forward, um, forward speaking with their emotions and you tend to um, not wear that on your sleeve. It could be different religious backgrounds. It could be different ethnicities. It, it's just not, it's not going to be exactly how you pictured it. There's an element of surprise here. But it's going to gain or there's going to be some sort of happy addition um, to your life uh, when this comes in. It's very positive. So you have seven of cups in reverse. So in the upright, that can be the card of decision making, sometimes illusions or being overwhelmed. Um, but because it's in reverse, for this, I want to say it's your person who's, who's coming forward to you and they're making it very clear what they want. They're making, and it has to do with emotions, right? Cups, love, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, potentially. Um, but I think this is more, it's again, falling under the same person. They're coming in with their cup. You know what this could be? This could be um, being very blunt. Um, maybe blunt isn't the right term. Open about expressing their interest in you. I don't think it's overwhelming you. Again, this, is, this has been a very, um, a precisely um, precisely guided plan or thing that they've been working on I don't think they're just gonna come in and like spill their cup of emotions all over you but I'm almost getting because it's upside down it would be an empty cup not in the traditional sense of this person doesn't have love to give because they absolutely do that that's clear here in a lot of ways they may be upfront about uh, past relationships that have they they view as a failure um, and again, I don't think that would be their opening line, but say you guys meet up and you, you know, they, they, this could be symbolic of them offering you flowers, but offering a, a, a chance to hang out, go out on a date or do this or whatever. You may have some sort of conversation where this person is very open about their emotions and past heartbreak or past spilled cups, so to say. And that's being clarified by the star in reverse. Aww. So uh, this is your card, Aquarius. Uh, in, in the upright, the star is dreams and wishes right um sometimes it's the wish fulfillment card um again it's more healing and recuperation after the tower um but yeah the ideas of dreams in a in an otherwise dark sky the the light of the stars keeps us going it's our north star it's our guiding star so in reverse it's someone who's lost hope um someone who's really going through a difficult time um and again it does have to do with spilled cups spilled emotion so if this still resonates, if this person is coming in again, they, how I was saying, this this is the only card you had in reverse earlier on, and it's like the soulmate one. This person may have recently detached themselves from someone who at one point in time they thought was their soulmate. And so, yeah, they, so they might still be in this healing state. So I would just put up a, a little red flag of caution that make sure this person is ready to be in a new relationship and that they're not seeking romantic partnership as a band-aid, right? Because we know that's never a good idea. 
We have to make sure that our cup is, that we are fully healed, right, and tempered, and that our cup is full to the brim with self-love before we enter into a new partnership, a new relationship. That's really important. Um, now, I don't, for the most part, I don't sense that this person is coming in with that mentality of I need to fix this with a band-aid, because as we said, they're the knight of pentacles. They've been working on this journey of potentially loving oneself and, and um, recuperating oneself so that they are ready to, to love again. I think they've been doing this for quite some time, so it doesn't have that energy of rushing in uh, the way like that the fire would to, to be like, I need to fix this and this is what we're doing now. They're, they're slowly working up their desire, their passion to, to essentially express their truth about love. That could be what this is. Um, and because it's like, um, another way I could see this is that there are no other options for them now because they've seen you, Aquarius. This is your card, right? So the fact that this is coming in under your person about the love or the making of a decision, they're, they're not overwhelmed by love or relationships anymore, maybe because if, if you do know this person, potentially being around you offers them some sort of peace and hope. Um, and with it being in reverse, maybe it has to do with the idea that them approaching you, again, it's that precious little, I want to say stone, it's that precious little pinnacle that they're so nervous to offer you because they don't want to be rejected. There's a lot on the line here, like it could go either way for them. And I don't want to say this to put pressure on you, Aquarius, but it is that it's like a make or break. It's like, Aquarius, are they going to be in my life? Are they my North Star or am I going to be rejected? It, this could be overwhelming. Um, I don't know if insecurity is the right word, but again, that there's a lot on the, on the line here. There's a lot at stake for this person coming into you and, and expressing how they really feel. Just saw the lovers at the bottom of the deck. That's never a bad thing. Um, could be a Gemini. <clears throat> Let's see, what else do we need to know about this in the future for Aquarius? Is there a card that we can put with this future spread? This one wanted to come out. The Fool, ah, oh, it's a new beginning. And this is also your card, Aquarius. I sometimes see this as a card of Aries because it's like the head, the beginning, the beginning of the, the major arcana's fool's journey. Um, but also Aquarius, uh, seeing the world through a new lens. There's no baggage, there's no emotional baggage, there's no mental baggage. The decision has been made, right? Um, so this could represent your, your decision to, you know, keep an open mind and hey, go on a walk with this person. It could be as simple as that. It's letting something new into your life and it's falling under this, again, this glowing bright sunshine card, but it's, it's in the upright this time. Um, and as well as under temperance, the blending of the opposites, the blending of two, the love angel stepping in, right? Maybe this is divinely guided. And again, it could just start as friendship, right? There's nothing that says it needs to rush into romantic partnership. But I love that this fool is actually headed towards, towards the star. So it, it is actually quite hopeful. Um, I love that. And this came out earlier. Heavenly signs. Awesome. Divinely guided being this person is heavenly sent to you or vice versa maybe again you might not even realize it but you may be the north star in this person's sky um and it doesn't have to be a total stranger right this could be someone you've had friendship with for ages but this this new chance and opportunity at approaching you with an offer maybe it, it's coming in like seven years into a friendship and Maybe this person is receiving signs like now is the time. I want to say Virgo or Sagittarius. You had a lot of, of those cards come up, but heavenly sent. There's a reason why this person is in your life and vice versa. And yeah, Aquarius, like, you know, you hold the power. We, we all have free will to do whatever we want, right, with, with offers that come our way. But this is incredibly optimistic and hopeful. You really don't have any bad cards here. I, my only guidance to you would be make sure that both of you, if somebody's coming out of a... A partnership that was less than ideal make sure that they've done the healing work on themselves before they're making new offers and that goes to you or for you as well Aquarius right we know that but yeah it's incredibly optimistic um, let me know if this resonated for you Aquarius I'm interested to know who this person coming in is um, if you did like that video please do like share subscribe leave me a comment if you like otherwise I will see you guys next week for another spread on finances and career thanks Aquarius bye